Hello, and today we're going to be talking about the five number summary. So the five number summary, as its name implies, is five numbers that summarizes some sort of data. So I'm going to make a data set real quickly. Numbers 1 to 10. And 10. And now I'm going to create the five number summary of this data set here. So the first number in our five number summary is the minimum or min for short. So the minimum in our data set we can just find out by ordering and then working out what the lowest number in the data set is. In this case it's one right over here so we say one is our minimum. Our last number is our maximum or max for short and it's on the opposite side of the spectrum it's the largest number that we have in this case 10. Then we have the quartiles. We have quartile 1, quartile 2 and quartile 3 and these quartiles are useful for finding outliers and other things like that but for now let's just worry about how we get these numbers so the second quartile is just the median of this data set so quite often you'll see that uh, quartile 2 is just labeled the median so the median of this data set we have 10 numbers 10 plus 1 divided by 2 now we'll find what number we need. We want the 5.5th number right here. So the average of 5 and 6 is 5.5. So there's our median. So now we have three numbers of our five number summary. What, what about these two numbers, quartile 1 and quartile 3? So the first quartile is the median of the first half of the data set. So this here. And we can see visually that the median is going to be 3 in this case. But we can use our formula n plus 1 over 2 to work out what it is. In this case we have 5 numbers. Plus 5 plus 1, 6 divided by 2, 3. Therefore the third number is going to be our median. So the median of this particular side, this first half, is 3, therefore our quartile, our first quartile is 3. It's the exact same thing, but with the third quartile, but instead of the first half, we're looking at the second half. So again, it's going to be the third number, third number in this case is 8. Therefore, our third quartile is 8. So, I'm going, let's see if the median, our second quartile, is an average of two numbers. What if we had, instead of 10 numbers, we had 9 numbers like that? Of course, our maximum would change and our median would also change. Our median will become 5 in this case. I'm going to change everything here. Maximum's 9 and our median's now 5. This number here, I'm going to circle it. So now, if we're going to find a our quartiles, we need to find the first half. So the first half will So our first half would not include 5. And our second half will also not include 5. So we don't include the median when the median is an actual point in our data set. So we work out the median of these two highlighted areas and they'll correspond to the quartile. So the median here is the average between 2 and 3, 2.5. And in here, it's the average of 7 and 8, 7.5. And here's our five-number summary. 
So now I want to talk about a little bit of measure of spread that um, we can find from the five number summary. So the measure of spread that I'm talking about is something called the interquartile range or IQR for short. And this IQR is the third quartile minus the first quartile. So in this case, it's going to be 2.5 minus 7.5, and it's going to equal 5. So what it's... And we can use this bit of data here to calculate outliers. So I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of this. I'm gonna rewrite it. Would you like a drink, Lucas? So here's our data on the side here. And I'm going to have the minimum one, our first quartile. It was 2.5. Our median or second quartile was 5. Our third quartile was 7.5. And our maximum was 9. And we said that our IQR was 5. Alright. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to calculate outliers. So outliers are bits of data that are extremely small and do not relate to the data set as much as we think they should or too big and they shouldn't relate. So for example if I had if I had if I had the amount of apples bought from people in the supermarket I would have something like five, five, I would have maybe six apples, seven, something like that. I'm not expecting to see a hundred, but if I do see a hundred, I will classify it as an outlier. It is something that shouldn't be here, but it is. Some one person bought a hundred apples for whatever reason. So, now that we know what an outlier is, how do we calculate it? So, we use this measure of spread, IQR, and we calculate two different values that we use to work out whether or not, whether or not any values at all are an outlier. So there's two equations for this but you have to use them both so the first equation is the first quartile minus 1.5 times the IQR and our second equation is our third quartile plus 1.5 times our IQR so we know what our IQR is in this case 5 so we can sub that in and we know what our quartiles are so we can sub that in and now we just have to work out what this is so remember bid mass or bot mass whatever bid mass brackets indices uh, brackets indices division multiplication addition subtraction so in this case, multiplication first, 1.5 times IQR. Um, if you don't have a calculator and you want to calculate this, think, rewrite it, this equation as this, three IQR over two. It says the exact same thing, but I've, made it in a way that it 
would make more sense. So 3 times 5, it's just nicer to work out. 3 times 5, that's 15. 15 divided by 2, whatever that is, uh, 7.5. So this becomes 7.5 minus the first quartile, 2.5. 2.5 minus 7.5, that's equal to negative 5. So I'm going to do this again, but for the last bit of data here. Our IQR times 1.5 is still 7.5. And now I just add it to our third quartile. So our third quartile is 7.5, 0.5s add, so we get 15. So what this is saying is that if we have any data point that's less than negative 5 or any data point larger than 15, it means that those data points that do not fill this requirement are an outlier. So an outlier is going to be something that does not fulfill this requirement. Any number in our data set which does not so all we have to do now is if we sub in the data a bit of data in question into here and if one of these becomes not true then we can classify whatever that data thing, point was as an outlier. So that's all I have time for today for five numbers summary. In the next video we're going to be talking about box plots and how we can display this data using the five number summary. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or contact me on social media and I will see you in the next video.